Also known as a badge of honor, a scar is actually a natural part of the healing process after an injury. So let's talk about the different types of scars and what you can do to minimize their appearance. So the first thing to know is that even though a scar may look like it's healed within a few weeks from the injury, it actually, there's a lot going on underneath the skin for over a year. When everything goes well, a scar will initially be pink and then it will go to a pale, flat, white scar. Unfortunately, sometimes our body puts in either too much scar tissue or too little. So when our body produces excess scar tissue, that's either called a hypertrophic scar, when that scar tissue is within the injury site, or a keloid scar if that scar tissue actually is going beyond the initial site of injury. Unfortunately, hypertrophic and keloid type scars can be very uncomfortable. They can itch and they can burn. The good news is that there are some great treatments that we can use to help minimize the appearance of these scars and improve the symptoms. So we use pulse dye laser and resurfacing lasers to help reduce the red and the size of the scar tissue. And we also use injectable steroids and injectable chemotherapy agents to help flatten these scars. Of special interest are burn scars. Unfortunately, burn scars are very prone to becoming thick and bound down and very uncomfortable. And we now know that the earlier we can treat a burn scar with laser, the better the outcome will be of that burn scar. So if you do have a burn, we like to get you in as soon as possible. The opposite is when our body produces too little collagen and then that can result in a scar that is depressed or what we call atrophic. These scars are treated with procedures that help to stimulate collagen production. So resurfacing lasers can be used, microneedling can be used, and if we have a scar that, that just isn't filling in as well as we would like, we can inject fillers underneath that scar to support it from underneath and, and lift it up. So how can we reduce scarring if we know that we are going to have a procedure? Say you are going to have a skin cancer removed or a cyst removed. Um, there are a couple of tips that are really important. The first tip is to really follow the instructions for wound care because you do not want to have an infection. Anything that increases inflammation, such as an infection, will make that scar not heal as well. The other thing is to reduce tension on that wound. So that means limiting activity, such as exercise or heavy lifting, at least until those stitches are removed. And then remember that even though that scar may look healed at two or three weeks, there's still a lot going on under the skin. So applying topical silicone containing creams or silicone sheets for three to six months after those stitches come out can also help to improve the appearance of that scar. 